Typically, when a lot of people try to free up space on their computer or any device, really, they typically just think, okay, do I have any videos that are long? Do I have lots of images in a certain folder? And there's this really interesting app in Ubuntu that comes pre-installed now called Disk Usage Analyzer, and its official program name is actually uh, Baobab, and I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly, but it's B-A-O-B-A-B. Um, or you can just search for it as Disk Usage Analyzer right here, but I'm just going to run it like this. And so this is a very, very useful app that tells you exactly what directories are taking up the most amount of space in your file system. This doesn't only apply to your current disk, your com your computer's disk, right? It also, if you plugged in an SD card or a USB stick, it would help you with that too. But right now I'm just going to click on the drive here. So now it'll start just scanning our entire file system for which directories take up the most space. And it'll order them from top to bottom, um, with most space at the top, and it'll also tell us the amount of space each directory takes up. Okay, so now this is the interesting part, right? We can see here that at this level, at the level that the root directory is on, it takes up the most space. And that's very obvious because the root directory is the only directory that takes up any space in its level because it's the only directory at its level because it's root, right? So that's why it's completely red. And if we branch off, we can see home, which is red, but it's not completely filled because we have var here and we have a lot of other directories at its level. It's just that home takes up the most amount of space. If we keep branching off into home, we can see that Alex, which is my home directory, takes up the most amount of space, while the other ones, they take up like from one gigabyte to 200 megabytes to not even one megabyte, right? And the reason mine is red is because it's such a drastic change that I should take a look at it. So let's continue branching off, and here we can see that videos takes up 123 gigabytes, so if I deleted the videos directory, I would free up an entire fifth of my disk space. We also have .var, which takes up 63 gigabytes, and I'll show you why in a second. And then next we have downloads, and then from there it's just, they're all pretty much the same. So, in videos we have the, uh, we have three directories right now. Uh, I have pool videos and vacation, which are just both directories that contain videos I took with my GoPro that I just didn't get to put on my uh, local network drive yet. And they take up the most amount of space at their current level. So next we have .var, which we can go into. And then, wow, we can see that app takes up the most amount of space in its directory because it's red. And the reason we know that is because it's the only directory in that level, so that's why it's completely red. So if we continue branching off, we can see that GNOME Boxes, which is, these are all my Flatpak apps, we can see that GNOME Boxes takes up the most amount of space because it's a virtual machine manager, and it this contains all of my virtual machines, so if I go into data, GNOME Boxes, uh, images, images is the last directory in this branch off right here. Um, images takes up 63 gigabytes because that contains all of my uh, virtual machines in this directory right here. So if I wanted to free up some space, I would get rid of a lot of the virtual machines in here. So what this app can really do is it can really help you determine, like instead of just saying, okay, well, uh, I know that videos takes up a lot of space, so I'm just going to go deleting random files in there. No, it tells you like which specifically which directories you should get rid of and which ones you don't necessarily need to right now. Because if you just wanted to like, okay, well maybe I should just transfer these files and then delete them, right? So then you'd free up a lot of space. It can really help with that. And to the right here, we have this uh, interesting graph here. I typically don't use it because I just like to use this uh, branch off method. But in the middle, we start off with root. And then when we go off, we uh, we actually go, we start branching off, but in a circle way instead of just a vertical way. So here we have root, and then if we continue, right, we have home, and then we have var, user, and then a lot of other directories in here, and then uh, in the end, then that's it, right? So there's home there, so, and that's correct, because root, and then home, and then it shows var and user, which are the most space taking directories right now and then here we just have a bunch of other ones which is this empty um, space right here that it's not really showing anything so if we go into home we can see that now there's these right here so in home there's only alex and then there's in this empty in one of the empty spaces right here it's right here i think 
this is where the other home directories are because they have nothing inside them really and also if you click on one of these so let's say i just want to look inside my home directory so i can see some of those um uh, blacked out directories right there so if we click on alex right here it we're actually in alex now so the center of it is alex and you can see that it's mirroring what we selected over here and then we have videos right here and then so on we can just continue from there so this is a very useful program i typically just use the left side like i said but this whole thing can really help just free up the space on your computer if you're not sure what's taking up the space if you're not sure what's going on maybe you have like some kind of directory that there's a lot of cache going into or something i don't know anything it can tell you what directories take up a lot of space on your system and it's incredibly useful so I hope you enjoyed today's Linux video, and if you did, please subscribe, so I'll see you next time.